Hello everyone, it's me, David. It has been well over a week since I've been on the kayak. I'll give you more information about that later on. But I'm back at Nan's Cove for another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. Let's have some fun. we got here. Welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. Welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. I'm your host. It took a while. I was changing my bait on the other rod and now I've hooked into something. Feels like a catfish. It is a catfish. It looks like it's a channel catfish in particular. So that's nice to see. brought a net to help land them. Alright, we'll let the line out some. Yes, sir. Circle hook right there in the corner of the mouth. About a 16, 18 inch channel catfish. Get that out of your lip, buddy, and let you go. Not quite big enough to keep. Let's get a picture of you. There we go. Little channel catfish. He's going. Awesome. Okay, since the wind has died down, I've got a nice calm sea right now. I figured I'd kind of bring you up to speed with what I mentioned at the very beginning of the video. It's been, oh, maybe not. Nope, sorry. That's a bite. That's a bite. That's a nice one, whatever it is. Come on over here, buddy. What have you got there for me to see? Trying to pull a little drag. What have I got now? Running. We got another catfish. Blue. Channel. White catfish? Which is it? That's another channel catfish. But a much nicer one. Yeah, look at you. You've got a net and I'm not going to use it. Yeah. A much nicer catfish right there. Circle hook right in the bottom of its mouth. Right there. Yeah. Let's get that out of there. And we'll let you go too. Don't want to take any fish home with me today. Circle hook is out. We're going to measure you. But I think you're too big for my trough. way too big for the trough. What are we looking at on the handle of the actual paddle? He's 
probably about 21, 21 inches and a nice one. Fish number three. Oh, he's gonna take the boat for a ride. Or he's gonna try to. Coming around the other way. Okay, okay. All right, what do you got, what do you got? Another catfish. Another channel catfish. Yes, sir turning into a nice evening here. Just wait. A little smaller one. Hook is out. And he's back in the water. Okay, so I'm not surprised with what's happening right now. Again, the winds have died, so I'm not drifting as much. I went out of the house this afternoon, grabbed the net to help me land fish, subsequently left the anchor at the actual house. Said to myself, well, it's not windy on my side of the actual county. I should be fine. Got over here, had wind. My gear, I've got about a half ounce trolling weight on that actual line. So it wasn't holding bottom. Now that the wind has died, the current isn't moving as much, the actual bait can stay on the bottom and the fish are finding it. So I'm pretty happy about that. So three catfish so far. Maybe we'll get another one. Maybe we'll get a blue catfish and we'll take that one home. Okay, so I just made another cast out there. We're gonna see if we can get what I was gonna say earlier down this time. Again, just bringing you just bringing you up to speed with what's going on uh, for, for myself. Uh, to be completely honest with you, again, it's been well over a week, probably close to 10 or 11 days since I've been on the kayak itself. That's mainly due to the fact that a week ago Monday, let me say that, a week ago Sunday, I was experiencing some pains in the chest wasn't quite sure what was what was going on so but I was able to bear it because it wasn't terribly hard or or tough Monday morning got to school had some of the same type of pains but it moved up into the jaw which was kind of concerning so I subsequently another bite okay we'll reel this one in and finish the story That's why we use circle hooks. They hook themselves. No setting of the hook. Fish just picked it up. And I get to reel it in. Looks like we got another nice channel catfish. Yes, sir. Another nice channel catfish. Again, circle hook right in the bottom of its mouth. Comes right out. swims right off. Okay, so maybe I'll finish this story before I cast it out again. 
hard to say that because I enjoy catching fish so much. Again, a week ago Sunday, I was feeling some strange sensations in my chest. Monday morning at school, similar pains, but again, it kind of moved up into the jaw. That was concerning, so I went to the emergency room. I subsequently ended up spending the entire night there at the hospital in an observation room so they could tr test my blood three different times for what are called, of course, the, the three cardiac enzymes. Fortunately, that all came back negative. There's some concerns about the fact that maybe I'm starting to have a little bit of uh, elevated blood pressure, and I'm not surprised by that, but quite honestly, when I'm out here, I think my blood pressure is just fine. It wasn't because of school, it's just because of just general stuff. I'm not sure why, but I just had that kind of tension in everything. So, I said to myself, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. This past weekend, I drove up to Clarion to pick up my son, brought him back, did some fishing while I was up there. Temperatures, lower 40s, kind of overcast, drizzly. Didn't get a single bite. That's okay. I figured I'd come back down to Southern Maryland and see how it goes. So like I said, today's really the first day I've been out fishing, serious fishing, on the kayak for almost, you know, 11 days. I'm glad I came out. Four catfish, pretty happy with that. Let's see if we can get one more and then we'll head in for the day. There's fish number five right there. Come in here. What have we got? We got another catfish? Yeah, another channel catfish. I see you, bud. Come here. You got your head bonked, didn't you? Okay. That's a juvenile, or it's at least a little younger than the others. Not quite as big, of course. But you can also see the little dots on it, the little spots. Kind of tell you that it's a juvenile catfish. A little younger than the others. But, it's catfish number five. You're not gonna even got a very big mouth. But that circle hook's right there in the corner of his mouth. Turn him over. And there he goes. You know what? I got another 15 minutes until it's been two hours on the water. Let's see if we can get a sixth. Okay, so that sixth catfish just never came to be. Um, I'm pretty happy though. I mean, even when I was being tossed about by the actual wind and, and the small waves that were out here, um, I was still getting bites. I felt things tugging at the bait. So again, I knew that I was just not holding the bottom at that time. I was just being blown around. That's on me. I gotta take the L on that one. Um, and that's because, of course, I didn't bring the anchor. I've got an anchor. I just didn't bring it. That happens. But once the wind calmed down, a little bait on the bottom, circle hook, pays off. Some people don't like the circle hook. Personally, I do. I mean, as evidenced from this video, again, trying to talk to you, and ended up hooking up with two fish. So those circle hooks, the fish hooked themselves. And I was able to reel them in, as you can see, from the video. I'm hoping you enjoyed it. Hope you don't mind my little kayak confession about my personal health. I'm trying to do something about it and everything. I'm gonna watch what I eat. I'm gonna cut back on the sodas. That's my vice. My, my vice is, is soda, but I'm gonna cut back on those. But I'm just gonna try to take care of myself. And hopefully you're doing the same thing. Take care of yourself and keep watching. If you haven't done so, click subscribe, hit the like button. Until next time, tight lines. <laughs>